Hi guys, it's Wednesday. So we are only working with $387. We are back to four day paychecks, but I had to pay two bills today. We're throwing $75 towards debt. We're throwing money at tithing and we kept a buffer in our account. So because we just had so much coming out, we're only working with $387 today, so let's go ahead and give this account. I have 51, 50, 250, 272, 90, 310, 330, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87. So $387 that we are working with today. Not a lot, I'm not gonna lie. These, um, the cost of everything going up lately has just been really getting a hold of my mental health lately. Um, I went up in my grocery budget and I'm still like not having a lot of rollover. My car insurance went up by like 15 to $20. I'm just, I'm over inflation right now. It's really messing with me. So, uh, yeah. So I, I'm just praying really hard for everybody because I know my husband and I are in a better financial situation than a lot of people. We don't have car payments. Um, you know, we, we're just in a really good spot right now. And I just don't know how we're supposed to survive. You know, oh, I'm just complaining. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a complainer, but it's been really affecting me lately. So, okay, let's go ahead and let's unstuff our envelopes. We don't have a lot of rollover. Cause again, I've just been I've been spending, so groceries, are, we started off with 150. I only have $7 remaining. So let's go ahead and move that over to the side. Um, date night, we started with 100 and we only have $9 remaining. So do I know that I don't have to put $100 into date night? I could put that money towards something else. Yes, I do know that, but this has been something that my husband and I have needed for a long time. We were foster parents for six years when our kids were super little, like we just never got out and our um, marriage has been so strong this past year since we've actually been putting more time into ourselves. So this is a priority for me. That's gonna stay um, just because having two healthy, loving parents is very important to my children. So we, we love our date nights. That's kind of been something that we've been really enjoying so that a hundred dollars won't go away um on my personal jamie binder i only have two dollars remaining and i didn't buy myself anything besides carbs <laughs> so yeah um stock up i used ten dollars because i went couponing pet food we use and then family time we all went out to eat my um, middle son is obsessed with buffalo wild wings and i had a gift card for it so um yeah, we used all 40 of that plus the gift card because, you know, it could be very expensive for a family of five. I have a lot of change here. Let's get this out of my wallet. It makes it heavy, but I like it. I love adding, adding up all this change. I cannot wait till it's full to see how much we've accumulated. So nice little handful there. That's, that's quite a bit. There's at least three quarters that I see. Oh no, there's, there's like five. So we have well over a dollar there. That is awesome. So I'm gonna put that in my pretzel jar and I found some, um, let's see. We finally found some bee bucks, finally. Starting to get worried that I couldn't <laughs> do anything for my, my daughter. Okay, so let's see. An L bucks, which I don't have trouble finding L bucks for. We have two L bucks. So we'll add that in and I'll color that off camera. Sea bucks, I have one sea buck. And then I finally found three bee bucks. Yay! So I need one more bee buck to get to 25 and then I will deposit this money into her savings account. So that, I'll just set that aside. And let's go ahead and restuff our wallet. So in groceries, we're still working with 150. Ugh, it's tight but we are working with it. I think I gotta do a better job too at meal planning. I think I've been kind of falling off on meal planning, so some of this is my fault too. So I can't completely blame inflation. Um, date night, again, we're sticking with the 100. Um, my personal Jamie binder, I'm gonna go back in with 20. 
um, stock up. We are going to add 20. So that gives it, oh, throw in money. Come back. All right, so now we have $50 in stock up. And my pet food. We haven't needed to touch this yet. We might here soon. We have $60 in pet food, which is more than enough. I'd love being able to know that I have that. And then family time, we're gonna go ahead and add $20 and we are going to start reaccumulating for the future. And my wallet is stuffed. Yay, I have money. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and set this aside. All right, we are going to go into our high priority binder. These, um, I am just continuing to add $5 to all of these categories because these are my high priority sinking funds. Um, these are just what's important. Um, you'll see that there's another $100 in here because the person I let borrow money from me is slowly paying me back. So she's doing an awesome job. Um, so in emergency, we're just gonna go ahead and add $5. I have 500, 600, 20, 35. So 635 in emergency, which is awesome. Working that back up. Ugh. And medical, I did use some of this because I had to get some medications. So we are now at $305 in medical. And I also have a challenge for this going on because I'm gonna need dental work. Wah, wah, wah. My husband did get his um, oil change. I got an oil change recently. So the only thing that we are working on for car maintenance is we are continuing to work up for tires, which I have a challenge on. So we should not be taking out of this category for a while until we get those tires, Lord willing. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> so I have 225 in car maintenance, which is great. We still need to get those kittens back in. Oh, we've just been so busy. My husband, oh my gosh, he works four days in a row, 12 hour shifts. So he already works 48 hours. He picked up two extra days of overtime. So he worked, he is working six days, 12 hour shifts. So that only gave him two days off because he rotates. He does four days on, four days off. So he only had two days off and we had to get the oil change. We had to go grocery shopping. Obviously we want to spend time together. So we did not get to take the pets into the um, vet this week, but we will probably try to do that next week when he has more time off. So in pet care, we have 550, 60, 65, 70. 570 dollars in pet care, which is awesome. Um, in vacation, we are adding five dollars, and this is just accumulating for next summer. I have 50, 70, 90, 95. And last but not least, I have my kids binder and we had to take some money out of that for school lunches. My kids love getting um, the school pizza on Fridays because they order out from like Domino's. So, you know, we had to put money in their um, lunch accounts. So we have $55 in kids needs. And that is stuffed. That is my high priority, which is fantastic. Next is my low priority. Um, and this is just, I pick six categories, six out of eight, that I just kind of feel needs, needs some love. And then we're just going to pick $20, five, 10, 15, 20, because we don't have very much this week. So we're just gonna go in with $20. Let's set some of this aside. We'll do a shuffle. And here we go. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Hopefully all of that is in the frame, which it is. Awesome. All right, let's roll and see where our money is going to go. Ooh, we have a one, so home. We have a five, so future. We have a three, one month ahead. And we have a one home, perfect. So let's move out the categories that aren't getting any love this round. And let's start right here. So in future, this is for a future home, future car, whatever we'll need in the future. I have $110, which is awesome. 
I have no desire to get a new home or a new car. So that we're just building up. One month ahead, I would love to get this thing built up, but slow and steady. So we're adding $5 and I have $45 in one month ahead. Like I said, <laughs> slow and steady. Oh, <laughs> we are snailing it over here. And in home needs, we're gonna add $10. The clear winner today. So I, oh, I did have to use $50 from my home because um, a set of blinds in my front living room, the string broke. And I love opening up all my blinds in the morning to get that natural light. And then we turned off our air, so we've been opening up our windows. So I had to get new blinds. Um, and of course my husband's bougie and he doesn't like the vinyl. He loves like the faux wood kind and they're like $45, $50. So we did take from here and home needs. Now we're gonna add the 10 and I have 410 in home needs. So I'd love to beef this up to get a dining room table at some point in time, but we will see. We're just kind of working at this budget, paying off debt and slow and steady. Next, we are going to go to our challenges. Now, I'm not going to lie, we don't have very much. We, it's kind of a sad week. We have 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. 25 dollars to work with. So, I think we're going to do two challenges today. Um, I want to start off with my Christmas challenge because Christmas is starting to kind of creep up on us. I'm getting a little nervous because there's just so much that I want to do. Um, my boys are older, so of course what they want for Christmas is not cheap. There's already a Lego my one son is eyeing and it's like $100, so I wanna work on Christmas. This was a um, Etsy purchase from Cindy Cat Budget, so let's go ahead and let's do this one down here and see what we get. Oh, what do we get? $15. That's not too bad. 15 into Christmas. All right, let me show you a little closer. That's a cute little red Christmas ball. I love that. So for my Cindy Cat budgets, we are going to go ahead and add $15. So now that gives me $35 in Christmas, which is awesome. So I believe that's only $10 left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Yep. So you know what? That is all going to go into my September challenge. <sighs> it's, a, it's a tight week. It's a tight week, people. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. All right. I have a $10 right here, which is perfect. So we're going to go ahead and add this $10 in and let's done anything with this pretty yellow yet. Let's give it a roll. So $10 is going into my September challenge and this was a download from hasslefreesavings.com. So now in my $200 uh, savings challenge, I have 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 53 dollars in my September savings challenge. And friends, I am out of money, but I do get paid on Friday. So that one, we have other bills to pay as well. So unfortunately, the last time I think I stuffed on my Friday, I had like $900. I'm not going to have that much money this time. I think I'm only going to have like five. We'll see. But I will finish this. I am so determined to finish this challenge. So I hope to see you guys on Friday when I finish this challenge. Oh, I can't wait. So hopefully I'll see you guys then. Bye, friends.